Welcome to this course in machine learning. My name is Carl Gustav Jansson. I'm a professor of artificial intelligence at KTH, Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. Uh, machine learning is an area which is part of artificial intelligence, which in turn is a part of computer science. These days you hear a lot about this area, but actually the area is not new. It's uh, actually 62 years old. In 1956, a, a small group of researchers met at Dartmouth College uh, in US uh, uh, to, with, the, uh, with the intention to found a new area that they termed artificial intelligence. I will read the, the founding statement of this area for you uh, in the original version as follows. The study is to proceed on the basis of the conjecture that every aspect of learning and any other feature of intelligence can in principle be so precisely described that a machine can be made to simulate it. An attempt will be made to find how to make machines use language, form abstractions and concepts, solve kinds of problems now reserved from humans and improve themselves. Machine learning is clearly a cornerstone of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is about how to design machines or assemblies of machines with intelligent behavior, including both hardware and software. We are increasingly surrounded by and dependent of artifacts and systems that are supposed to be intelligent. That can be self-driving land vehicles, drones, household robots, autonomous water vehicles, intelligent interface assistants, and so on. Intelligent behavior is too complex to code explicitly, even for the most experienced programmer if our ambition is to create really useful tools for us. Already 62 years ago, the founders of AI realized that adequately intelligent behavior cannot be achieved without learning mechanisms, and the purpose of machine learning is to achieve such mechanisms. For managing any kind of intelligence task, let us take a simple example of a child walking. We need a number of ingredients. First of all, we need a basic conceptual repertoire for modeling the world, for understanding the world. Then we need capabilities for perception, including sensing, data collection, aggregation and abstraction. Then we need also what we can call thinking, that means analysis, reflection and reasoning based upon our perceptions. And finally, we need acting, planning, configuration, actions and performing those actions. As I've been stated above, all these parts have to be iter iteratively improved through learning mechanisms in order to achieve an adequate intelligent behavior. Machine learning has today also a wide spectrum of general applications such as digital speech recognition, uh, digital image interpretation, data mining for health care, could be for cancer prevention, drug design, early diagnosis of diseases. It also can be used for uh, analyzing uh, financial data, banking data, uh, insurance data, and for marketing. Also, uh, another application is the optimization of manufacturing processes and for efficient use of infrastructure resources. Um, uh, other examples are data mining for risk management, and finally, improvement of game playing capabilities. Thank you and welcome to the course again.